It's Friday, folks, and that means it's time to see what Xur has for sale in Destiny. This makes it a very special day, because this is the first time he has appeared since the release of the Dark Below expansion. Also, it looks like Bungie has something special for you. They do have an indicator where Xur can be found, so you don't have to worry about searching either the North Tower, the South Tower, or whether or not he's uh, back here somewhere. Uh, so you could just head straight down to where the class vendors are. So that's uh, straight down when you spawn in the tower. Down there are the three class vendors. You got the crucible guys here. So he's right here once again. Similar. As you can see, he is uh, very different than he was last time. He has exotic gear as he usually has. Looks like the Titan class has a expansion only item. As well as... Hunter class helmet and vestments for the warlock. You'll notice the light values on this goes up to 36. So these are the upgraded versions of the original exotics. As well as the truth. Truth is where you seek it, Lamar. The, the exotic shard, which will be required for leveling up any exotic item. As well as an exotic engram if you want to spend your mode of light. So let's see, do I have any shards? I do. So, the newest part here is the upgrade equipped exotics. This was uh, new since the last patch. They announced this is what's going to happen. Due to the level increase of the expansion and the new raid, uh, many new exotics now can be upgraded and the current drops will be the new items, uh, not the old ones. So you can see here the uh, Soros Regime. I don't know how that, uh, maybe that's how you pronounce it. Uh, it starts with a base attack of 302. The original one, which I actually have, I didn't level that up fully, uh, has a attack of 300 maxed out. So you can already see this thing will, is already, you can upgrade to this item and it'll have a much stronger attack. I uh, can see here the Icebreaker, which is an amazing sniper rifle. Uh, you can see mine on the left and the new one on the right. The upgraded attack starts at 302, maxes at 331. Uh, everything else is the same. To get this item, you need to have your original item, a shard, which you can purchase using strange coins, or you can dismantle an existing exotic, as well as 7,000 Glimmer. So I'm going to purchase the new icebreaker. The only problem with this is this is what it's going to appear. You're going to lose all of your progress in the weapon. As well as I'm going to need another exotic shard to level it up. Uh, the, it's probably going to be a good idea to get this, especially when you start wanting to do the hard raid for uh, Krota's End. So let's do it. Uh, let's do it. Upgrade. Yes. Yes! I'll do it! For physical violence. Uh, so let me just run through the, the items they have. The Hunter class. Mark of the Third Man. Another hunt, Hunter's item. Titan class. This chest piece appears a lot. The gauntlets. No backup plans. The Warlock Helmet, which just appeared last week. And good old Sunbreakers. For the weapons, we got Thunderlord. Icebreaker. Thorn. The Last Word. Red Death. And the Soros Regime. These things have been labeled Curios. We got the Pulse Rifle. Scout Rifle. Fusion Rifle, the Standard Plasma Drives, and Emerald Coil for the vehicles, as well as the Urn of Sacrifice, which was a quest from the, the new vendor that came with the expansion. 